over here to the journal flow here in Oak Creek Canyon seeing if I can collect some pine sap here's a white pine but anyways I'll do a little bit of walking and talking the spiritual journal flow This is like one of the, this trail is really busy. Maybe I should find a spot. I don't know. I kind of wanted to show some of the beautiful scenery here. Definitely going to do some projects in the future with some of the scenery here. I guess I wanted to talk about my twin flame experience and it seems like I do that a lot but that's what I'm very much feeling in the process I'm going through and it's just like it's like this dwelling in the past and it's like it's great to look back at the past it's great to look back at the past but you don't want to dwell in it if there's something in the past that you like then kind of recreate it and add a new spark to it you know like i like i used to have a school bus i used to travel in my bus like i want to travel again i do want to get a bus again in the future maybe not you know but talking about my twin flame experience if that's something she wants to do and wants to help me afford a bus and do a bus home and kind of be a gypsy and travel for a period of time and live like that, great. You know, I don't know if this is really the time for me to really settle into a career as a sound healer or to take that journey and try to create a business on the road in an online business with this person. So, I guess I gotta cross the river. Thank you. <laughs> so, there's like this blah energy of like, things are not enjoyable. Like, and this seems to be coming from my twin flame. And it seems this twin flame relationship is we kind of share emotions as if one of us is feeling a certain way the other can't help to feel that. So it kind of makes us a team. <sighs> Causes us to kind of tango and dance together. And I, and I think for the biggest part, she really suppressed kind of that ability of feeling me. But for some reason, Unless this is just kind of my process of grieving, I guess. Maybe I'm just grieving, you know, 
It's okay to grieve, to give yourself the time to grieve. And, you know, like, things just aren't going to be enjoyable sometimes when you're going through some depression. But also, you have to kind of, like, think, like, there is a time, time to take action. You know, not just dwelling in the past, doing something about it resolving things like it's it's you know you definitely need time to process your emotions but sometimes you have to take action instead of you know procrastinating procrastination is a result of a lack of uh, self-esteem you know you become a perfectionist you know you want things to be perfect before you know, you receive something in your life or that's an interesting rock. And so relating this to my twin flame experience, so it's like, oh, I have to be perfect. I have to be fully authentic and resolve all my things. And it's like, no, you come together with your partner and you learn and grow together. Right. But, you know, choosing the path of growth through resentment like I resent that I didn't take that leap then but you know with honesty it's like if that didn't happen it's because me and this person weren't ready so I'm not gonna sit here this is cool <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and like beat myself up about mistakes that I made you know, I'm kind of upset about all the money I spent, you know, traveling by myself and not really fully doing the things when I did travel that I really wanted to do because, like, I needed someone with me not to just do it by myself. It's not fun by yourself, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, you doing? Good. So, it's not really fun by yourself. Look at that tree. That's interesting. Hi. Hey there. So it's not really, it wasn't really fun traveling by myself. And she feels really bad about ignoring me and suppressing me. And I don't know exactly what happened. And, you know, all I'm saying, maybe she watches these videos. I hope she does. And, you know, if I could tell her anything right now, I'd just say, look, don't sweat it, you know? Just create the future. Process and learn from, process the past, you know, process your emotions, learn from it, catch up to yourself. But don't dwell in it, don't procrastinate it, don't try to make things perfect, you know, just create the future from the moment you're in now. You know, don't sit here and overthink and dwell on this. Take action. And, hi -oh. Hi. Don't just sit here and dwell on it and overthink it. Take action and resolve it. You know? Resolve things. Resolution. And it's that anticipation and just being on the fence. And I've been on the fence for a long time, you know, and it's like when I was visiting Nebraska last year, it's like 
my family just wanted me to get off the fence. And it's like, I'm sorry, it's not up to me. You know, it's like this one psychic lady did like an energy thing on me and I spent like 260 bucks. She did a cord cutting thing and I go home and I close my eyes. Actually, I went in my bus. <laughs> oh, look at that tree. Went, or in my van and camped and I'm sitting there with my eyes closed and I can see my twin flame. Like clearly this cord is still here. And uh, you can't cut the cord if it's not if it's not up to you to cut the cord. You know, it's not up for people to get you off the fence. It's not even up for me to get off the fence. For the most part, I want to say it's really up for this other person to get both of us off the fence, but. I guess there's a divine timing and everything in between is just preparing us for union and for this life of service so cow forever here just kind of wanted to keep this short this canyons this is such a cool hike canyon walls I guess I'll walk a little bit more and share a little bit more scenery. Okay, done talking about that. I really just want to get this resolved and step out of these confusing, painful, frustrating, angry emotions. But you know, they're my twin flames and I'm helping her transmute it. That's probably why I'm feeling all this. You know, that's why I don't play the victim to it. So, look at that tree. Hey, Hi. Hi. So... It's not up for me to get off the fence. It's not up for me, you know, to cut the cord. And my soul really craves this and has already made this decision, has already seen the future. Hey, you know, I've already seen the future of this. It's already been pre planned and orchestrated that we go through the, this to prepare us. So, it's not up for me to get off the fence, not up for me to cut the cord. And it's like I'm helping this person transmute energies. And when you come across the new age, or what I've experienced with people in the new age, or people that are spiritual, they're like, oh, cut the cord, demand, this and that. And it's like, no, sometimes you just have to surrender and choose love. Love always wins. Love always wins. Love is the strongest vibration in the universe. Love is the only vibration in the universe. And it always wins. So. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, all right, now I guess I should probably look for some sap, and I guess I might post some posts on my Instagram of this hike, because I don't want the video to keep going so long. This is cool. It's just like the magic and the spark is just like gone right now.
I just feel blah. Like there's not a whole lot of good energy. Look at that little crow, that raven. Hey, raven! Da 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 da! Da da da! You looking for fish? The sign said catch and release. Man, this is, this is the bomb out here. This is awesome right here. Like, man, this water is kind of cold. Oh, look how crystal clear it is. This is pristine. Oh, this is probably a cool rock. It's got some geodes in it. Da da da, da da da. Da 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 da, da da da. I kind of just want to chill here. I just like do not feel up to do anything. I could not sleep last night. I could not sleep last night. Man. It, it was just like this fire burning through me. I don't know how to describe it. But it's definitely fire energy and we're in the Aries energy. Oh, this is mossy. It's slippery. Whoa. Mossy and slippery. This is dangerous. <laughs> Look at the water is so beautiful. How it flows like that. It's like more geodes. Or Chalcedony maybe? Kind of, I need to not collect so many rocks. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Man. Enough of this moss trap. Oh. Now how the hell do I get out of here? Look at that sandstone, that's cool. You know, I do kind of feel a little bit of energy sparking back into me. You know, there is like, sometimes when you're down in the dumps, you're feeling depressed. Whoa. Wow, this is super mossy. Sometimes you just need to break through and get yourself out of that depression. And maybe that's where my twin flame's at. Wow. That is super slippery. Sometimes you need to just break through and get yourself out of the depression. And maybe that's why it seems like I can't get myself out of the depression. Because I'm not the one depressed. She's depressed. And she needs to do something about it. This is like treacherous. I cannot walk on this moss. Whoa. Jeez. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, almost 20 minutes. I guess this video is longer than I thought. <laughs> I guess I should upload it. I guess I'll end this video here, sitting in this cave. Whoa. <laughs> so, I just kind of want to reiterate that. You know, maybe my twin flame is just depressed. She's kind of hiding it. You know, it doesn't look like she is on social media. <sighs> um in that she just needs to break through and she needs to gain a new experience. So if you're like bored with life, you need to do something new. 
Sometimes you need to sit there and process your emotions and kind of plan and feel for the future and then from the moment kind of create with that plan. And, but ultimately if you're at the point where you're depressed, it's like that's breakthrough time. You're hitting a wall. You got to do something new, you know. Cal forever here. Peace.